Welcome back to a new episode here in Swabi. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly build a timer or a countdown timer in DaVinci Resolve 16. And I'm gonna try to make it under two minutes, hopefully. And also, don't forget to check they are our transitions pack in the link down below so you can download the demo version of it. All right, so let's just get right into it. All right, the first thing that you're gonna need is you need for the first method, you use a text node and here you simply go to the style text section, you right click and then press time code. That will change it and that will basically show each keyframe as a, as a timestamp basically. And you can also change these here if you don't want the keyframes to show up so then it will only show up the seconds. You can play around with the right on section for that and that is the first method and that only pretty much works as a timer in the sense that it only shows um basically depending on the on the keyframes and all that so for the second version which you have to do a little bit more work but let me just show you so we're gonna go here to fusion and in fusion we're gonna create our background you can also reuse this fusion one after you do it the first time so then later on you don't have to recreate everything you just use power bins for that and we're gonna create a text note and similarly we simply go right here and right click but instead of time code we're gonna press text timer that will show a text timer and it's recommended you have to select these um, to make sure that everything works right and correctly you can change everything like everything it's just like a normal text thing but you can also go here to modifiers and then change the type you can do a countdown timer if you want it to be one hour you just click start and then it will just do it and then we just reset it or stop it you can set up every any way you want it you want a one minute one there it goes you can also set a timer and a clock that will show you real time um that's at the time of you recording or or whatever but you can also change that will show the actual time of your pc um, yeah, so we're gonna do the t the countdown timer here, leave it like that, and then we can just go here, and then we probably just can extend this fusion composition, so the whole timer actually is able to show as we play. Oh, I forgot to press play on it, so we're gonna just go back here to the text, and then press start. And yeah, now when you go here, it basically will do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a like and let us know down in, in the comments what your thoughts are. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so so then you can be notified when we upload new videos. I hope to see you in the next episode here in Suave.